One, two, three, four. Alimidae. Laying their eyes on this beauty queen. She's fantastic. Could lead to a slip of the tongue. I'm in love with you. Wow. Ten minutes and you're in love with me? He's a joke, this guy. Chris announces we're going to be playing strip darts. They're lucky that we didn't keep playing because I've been standing there buck naked. Chris, Australian for moron. Three get the X, one get the date. Chris saw my hands all over Danielle. That's why my name is Crocodile Dumbbell. It all starts now. A limit day. One, two, three, four. A limit day. <laughs> I'm Danielle, and I'm the reigning Miss Broward County. When I meet guys and they find out that I'm a cheerleader and a beauty queen, I think they look at me as this blonde girl that they can just flip around with. I'm hoping to find that someone special that will like me for who I am. A limit day. <laughs> I chose Third Street Promenade for this date. It's just a real fun place. There's bars, clubs, and I thought it'd be a great place to take the guys. In round one, I'm taking my date to Yankee Doodles. It's a sports bar. I'm really into sports, and I want to see if the guys are sports-minded, too. Usually women, when they hear the accent, they're automatically attracted to it because it's a terminal. I'm Alex, I'm a rugby player, and I'm Australian. Hi, I'm Alex. Danielle, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. His Australian accent, absolutely sexy. She's stunning, she's tall, she's athletic, she's fantastic. These three jabrones I gotta go against today. I'll choke slam one, I'll power bomb the other, and I'll cross face chicken wing. I'll do whatever it takes to win. My name is Jack, I love pro wrestling, and these three jabrones are going down because I'm gonna lay at the smack of the Hi. How you doing? Good. I'm Jack. Jack, Danielle. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Got a little champagne? Thank you later. so much. Attractive, definitely. I have a pilot's license and rest assured if a girl came up in the air with me, she'd be taken for a loaded ride. I'm Jesse, I'm a partner in a venture firm, and very soon you're gonna see me on the cover of Forbes magazine. You do. I'm Jesse. <laughs> Jesse, Danielle. Jesse was cute. He seemed like a really great guy. If I can keep a woman laughing, then I know I'm in good. My name is Chris Norcus, and I'm the fun southern gentleman that your mama would love for you to bring home, but your daddy knows what we do behind doors. Thank How you, you doing? so much. My name's Chris. Chris, Danielle. Hey, Danielle. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Beautiful. I mean, my stereotypical woman of how I'd want a woman to look. All right, let's all go inside. All right. We walked into Yankee Noodles. I thought it'd be wonderful to start out with a drink to kind of relax the nerves. So tell me about you guys. Like, where are you from? I'm from Cape Cod and uh -huh. was working up there as an investment banker. Okay. And I uh, came down to LA, started my own company, and uh, kind of enjoying the ride right now. When Jesse started talking about business and investments, I was very impressed by that. Well, my name's Jack. I'm from New York. I'm Italian. I'm a talent manager. I have my own business, have clients. Uh, bartend sometimes to make good things. You know how to cook. Um, been at it two yes. years. Love it. Um Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm Alex, and I'm, I'm from Australia, from Sydney. I'm a rugby player. I, played, I play rugby over here, um, and I played professionally in Australia. You play, you play pro out here, too? Yeah. Cool, man. Absolutely. So it's a lot of fun. We can have a good time. I've got a card for you I wanted to read. Okay. Can I do that? For the flower. I'm well, no, 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 no. see you read a card. Do you want to see the card. Thank you. Yes. It says, congratulations, it's a boy. Not one or two or three, but four. <laughs> The choice is all yours as to who will stay. I hope you keep me around to play. With this small gift I promise to you, at the end of each round awaits a new gift for you. It's my way of saying thanks for keeping me around, and by the end of our date, I hope it's true love we found. That's very sweet. As he let it go, uh, it was such a bore. May he read it never more and never more. This guy's horrible. Hallmark is horrible. I read Danielle my card because I want to let her know that I'm just not a run-of-the-mill guy. I want to keep things spontaneous. Chris, Australian for moron. So that was really, that was passion. That was something from the heart. Well, what's, what's something you guys are passionate okay. about? I'm passionate about? Yeah. Success. Success. It's everything I do. Like money? Not just money. Success. This guy doesn't know success if it's smack him in the ass. He's a joke. This guy, success. In love, in relationships. In business. Yeah, who doesn't life. want success? I hope you like success because that's what I have to have. I have to have success, okay? Stop looking at me! Uh, cooking, preparing food, uh, pro wrestling, love it. That's pro awesome. wrestling? Yeah. I used to write, I used to travel with them, write with them. Like the, the Rock thing. and stuff like, like that? Like the Rock, Stone Cold, yeah. He's the old entertainers. It's fake, but it's like the most interesting story you'll ever see. I don't know why he's trying to impress his date with pro wrestling, okay? Like maybe because he, he figured that she was kind of into athletics because we were in a sports bar, but pro wrestling isn't even a sports, a soap opera. I'm going to be a little bit different because I'm I'm not a more of a materialistic kind of person. The most thing I'm passionate about, most probably, is the thought of being in love. The thought of it. Is that planned or is that real? That's real. Okay. 
there's yeah. nothing else matters. When Alex said his passion was for falling in love, I find it really hard to believe. I don't think I've ever heard the word love come out of a guy's mouth in the first 10 minutes that I've known him. Yeah. What about nicknames? Do you guys have any cool nicknames? Yes. <laughs> Icon. 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 Why? People call me Icon just because I represent what you want to see in every given situation. I'm the real name. If he's an icon of something, I don't know what it is. Yeah, My yeah. nickname yeah. is Jet. Yes. J-E-T. It's actually interesting. It actually was my father's nickname. Uh -huh. My friends gave it to me. I'm full of energy all the time. Right. right. Okay, and my initials are J-E-T. Uh -huh. So, there you go. So they cool. call me Jet. What boring name's Jet? No one has that name Icon. I have to fall to call myself Icon. Naked Nork. <laughs> what? <Okay>. Naked Nork? <laughs> my last name's Norcus. And uh, I used to streak a lot in college and high school. Nice. And, uh, I'd play poker with them. Right, girls right. come up and like, oh my god, you're naked. I'm like, yes, I am. Did you say that? Girls say that? Yeah, they would. Yeah. So where did you get the shirt from? Do you don't believe this me? Shirt, yeah. This shirt, I got this, I got this. Uh, from MC York. Hammer. No, babe, it's in New York. You can only get in New York, you gotta think. So. You definitely look very New York. So you look on? very New York. Yeah. This is a one-of-a-kind shirt because I'm that guy. I'm a main eventer. I am ratings. I'm a guy that comes up with stuff that people don't expect to see. I wear this shirt because I can. What about first impressions? What was your first impression of the rest of, of the of guys? Yourself? Of you? The rest of the guys. Um, okay. Well, being from another country, um, we are in America, people tend to judge straight on first appearance. Right. And because the way I'm brought up in culture and in Sydney, first um, appearance really didn't matter. They all, they all seemed pretty cool. Kudos for you because you're from some other country. Well, whoop to do. Basically, the whole time Alex was talking, he was trying to be the good guy in front of Danielle. And you know what? It may work on some girls, but it doesn't work on me. I give my impression of these guys here, okay? Yeah, this guy here is like more laid back and like he's very dressed like Wall Street. And here we got the outback, kind of more rugged, like I, I'm, a, I'm a rugby player, that's all right. We got one guy here who's like, He's got to slide in like all the little comments, you know, here and there. It's like New York, you know, like, hey, you know, I'm, I'm, got, I'm witty. And over here, we got the check me out, because I could pull down my shades at any time and just tell you exactly <laughs> how I feel. What are you, what are you? Because I'm you? from Rolling. I didn't even realize they're still on okay, there. Exactly. Of course you The Dorcas, Dorcas Maximus. Oh my God, this guy's, he's a dork. He's a goof. Do you want to go play some pool? Definitely. Yeah, we, we should move. I can't play pool, but maybe you guys can. I will. Show me I might even. I'll give you a small, quick, private lesson. <laughs> that, that hand, that's it. Put your right hand out. Oh, exactly. Put your right hand. Out. Right. Left hand out. Put your left hand out. Yeah. <laughs> Yay! If <laughs> you want to be taught the real way how to play pool, I'd be glad to show you. Okay. I want you to keep it very stiff. <laughs> very stiff. Okay. I'm gonna come up with a couple lines, ball playing and stiff and stick, and this is something he practices in the mirror in the morning. All the guys took this opportunity to like show Danielle how to play pool. And like everyone wanted to grope her and put their arms around her. On the shot. Okay, that was good. From down under. Oh, oh it's the rim. Hey. Nothing but net. Uh, yeah. yeah, look. All right, why don't each of you tell me why I should keep you and who I should cut? Basically, I think you should keep me because I'm a very real person. I'm very motivated. I'm very aggressive. Do you want the whole package or you just want part of the package? And I'm the whole package. He thinks he's somebody's like, I'm real, I'm this. Ah, shut your mouth. I mean, this guy is nothing. I'm from New York. Italian. I like to cook. I'm spontaneous. I like to take chances. If you get to the next round, get to know me a little bit about me. Uh, so this guy's blah, 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 blah. I don't think it worked for Jack because he just talks way too much and he's a loud mouth. You should pick me because I'm in love with you. <laughs> Like, from the first moment I saw you, I thought you were beautiful. It's too early for us to tell, like, where it's going to go. Wow. Ten minutes and you're in love with me? Did you believe him? Did you actually believe what he said? No. He said, oh, because I love you. Hello, Chris. Back off just a little bit on the first day. Australians, in general, are renowned and said that down to earth, genuine, and there's no, there's no crap about us. We're not superficial, as you might find a lot in LA, which I've already found. A lot of people are really, right. really superficial. That's why my name is Crocodile Dumbbell. Danielle, you know you love me. Coming up, who will Danielle cut first? I think Jack should be cut because basically he's very aggressive and he needs to work his humor a little bit. I think she should cut Sydney because he's just too foreign and too rugby. I think Chris should get cut because he's laying it on way too thick and way too fast. I think that Jackson will get cut. It's too interruptive. Eliminate. <laughs> Who do you think Danielle will eliminate first? Alex, Jack, Jesse, or Chris? It's been a great time. I really enjoyed getting to know each of you. It makes it really hard to pick, but unfortunately this is a limit eight, and I have to pick one of you, and I'm gonna pick Jack. Oh, I need to know 
why I don't get to play in Barbie's Funhouse. Well, I'm more than just a Barbie doll. I'm someone inside. I'm very smart. I have a college education. You do? Yes, I do. Wow. And I absolutely hate wrestling. And we just need to connect. So I can go drink now? So I'm all done? Yeah, you're Guys, done. Guys, good luck, man. Uh, she's acting like she's all that. I have a college education. Who cares what you have? I could jack She's a little overbearing and not my type. You will not believe how relieved I am right now. Don't jack. Learn some manners. The advice I'd give those guys is don't take it personally if this girl eliminates you, because she's horrible. Next, we're going over to King's Head Pub, and I definitely think things are going to get a little bit wilder, and the stakes are going to be made much higher. Alex? Let's have yeah. fun. Let's have fun, Alex. Tell me, tell me something about Chris that bugs you. I think Chris is a little slow on the uptake. And he's, I think he's also trying to be too nice. I don't think he's actually been true to himself. I've got a degree from one of the best universities in the world, so there's no way that's, in the hell I'm slow. That's fantastic. You're an arrogant Ar why, am I, why, am I, why am I arrogant? The whole way that you carry yourself with it. And you're like, oh, this is how I am, and I'm doing this, and I'm well, so interested in you, and well, I don't want to well, hear what these other well, guys I'm say. Sorry, it's all an act, buddy. You know, it's all an act. Why do you accuse me of being nice, too nice, and that's not oh, gonna be Okay, you guys are all nice. Well, I mean, coming knowledge. on too thick and fast after you didn't know Danielle that long, like in the first 10 minutes, your poems, your flowers, you were telling you you love her, and I'm thinking, you know. Guys are very dangerous. Yeah, he's okay. in love with you, but not love you. These guys are very, love very love dangerous. I am. I think it's okay. beautiful. I like the conflict, I like the fact that they're fighting over me, but I really think they're trying to find things wrong with the other person that aren't really there. All right, we're changing gears here. Good. Okay. Well, right now, like right now, what could you do to turn me on? Any Joe smoke and kiss. Yeah, but I didn't. I, well, I didn't go into the mouth. I just, just sort of. But I can do it very well. <laughs> I would have kissed her on the lips. And I know she would have appreciated it because I know I'm a very good kisser. Alex starts to make out with her neck on that. What an. What a jerk. I promise you that each round, I had another gift for you, if I made it through this. Now this is not a gift of like- A bunch of flowers. A, 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 a longer pole. This is not like a, a bunch of money or proportions or anything of that kind. I'll be right back, okay? I think he's trying a little bit too hard. Chris got up, made a big scene in front of everyone. They had to have everyone look at him. This is for you. Thank you. Because I'm, I'm seriously, I'm literally just a teddy bear and I don't want him to convince you of anything else. I hope you don't believe anything else this guy's telling you. I was a little annoyed. I felt like he was trying to use the bear to make up for the negative things that Alex and maybe Jesse were saying about him. Non-original. Poem, flower, teddy bear. Hello. Why don't we go play some darts? Let's do that. Darts. See how you guys are You know what? Darts. Let's spice it up a little bit, though. Let's play strip darts. Not with you, but with us. All of a sudden, Chris announces we're going to be playing strip darts. Anything that doesn't hit black, an article of clothing is removed. A man needs to play strip darts let's, to, uh, in order to uh, show off his body. I mean, that'll make you more confident. Let's play. Oops, I didn't hit black. So Chris decided to play darts and, you know, his nickname being Naked Scrawny or oh, whatever it was anyway. And he was the first guy to take off his shirt. There's a time and a place for that. And it's not here. Oh, yeah. I'm going to do this just to make a point. Yeah! It's not my game, but I'll do it anyway. We could have played darts with our clothes on. This is kind of why I thought it was inappropriate. Ladies and gentlemen, hey, give it up for my man Jesse here. He's got his shirt off. A round of applause. Chris is an absolute moron. You hate green. Definitely. I was rooting for the articles of clothing that would come off. The imagination can only go so far. That was really good. Okay, yeah. Good job. Yeah, We're lucky that we didn't keep playing because I would have dropped my underwear, dropped my shoes, and dropped my socks. I've been saying they're buck naked with a microphone on my. Who will Danielle cut next? I think Chris is probably going to be the next one cut. I wish Alex would get cut because he's a. Chris, you're out of here. Eliminate. <laughs> Who is Danielle going to eliminate next? Jesse, Alex, or Chris? Well, it's in our round two, and I think we definitely had some fun times. Unfortunately, they have to eliminate one of you. 
it's going to have to be Jesse. In this last round, I really didn't feel like you stepped up to the plate and kind of challenged with the other two, and I didn't feel that I got just got enough out of you that I was looking for. It's a decision she had to make at the end of the day. I still think I have a lot to offer, but it's her decision, and I respect that. I had to cut Jesse because I really didn't see the fire in him that I saw in Alex and Chris. Jesse, next time you're interested in someone, try talking to them. It might help. I am who I am. I do very well the way I am, and um, I'll never change. The final round, I'm taking these boys dancing. So if they can put them on the dance floor, then they can definitely make it with me. boys can dance. We had a great time and before I knew it they were fighting over me. I just wanted to pull her aside. It was going to be a southern gentleman, give her a kiss on the cheek and he was immediately like threatened by that and pulled her over. I mean like he wouldn't even let me talk to her for a second. Of course, being the Australian that I am, I went over, I grabbed the hand, and brought it straight back. Alex's hands were all over her. I was like appalled. I was like, you've got to be kidding me, buddy. Chris saw my hands all over Danielle, but actually, Danielle was the one grabbing my hand, so I just pressed my toes. After we went dancing, we went to Renee's Cafe for some last minute chat. I wanted to know. Was Chris too good to be true? What was Alex hiding? I had to find out now. You guys definitely have a lot of conflict going on, a lot of competition here. So I've got nothing against Chris at all. He just, you know, it must be the Australian foreign thing that he's got right. a slight problem with. It's interesting that every conversation we have, he always seems to bring it back to, you just don't like Australians. Chris, you seem to be too good to be true, too romantic, too sweet, too kind. I mean, are you really like this when you're getting to know a girl? When I see something I want, then my heart talks, and I want you. I think everyone could see straight through Chris like a pane glass window. It's just a load of crap. I don't think he's being as um, romantic and genuine as he comes across because he actually said himself he's never been in love. Alex has got a lot going for him, but he's also, a, I can name a number of things that are annoying to me. He's an expert on everything. He pretends like he knows everything because he's been in love once. He's so intelligent because he has businesses. He's so well-traveled because he's been around the world. And I think his arrogance is annoying. I'm intelligent. I have my own businesses. I've traveled the world. It's called confidence, man. It's something that you're lacking. You have Alex, who is young and athletic and good looking. And then you got Chris, who's super duper romantic, tall, athletic, spunky. I don't know how I'm supposed to make a decision. Will it be Chris or Alex? Danielle's final cut is next. But let me say. <laughs> well, this is it, the final cut. You guys are both sweet and romantic and you can dance and you're smart but I'm gonna to have to eliminate one of you, and it's going to be you, Chris. Oh! Uh. I'm sorry. You were just too good to be true. Uh, there's something about the mystery that just kind of attracts me more. Women say they want a guy that's honest and is true to his heart, but in the end, she wanted a little mystery. She wanted me to play a little bit hard to get, and uh, I guess I was too honest. He is a great guy, and he will make some girl extremely happy. I think she's gonna regret the decision. I don't see him together at all. I think that uh, he was just playing the game. You're handsome, and you're special. You're unique, and I'm really looking forward to getting to know the other side of you that this is such a mystery to me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>